Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I love? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence, where patrons get access to a patron-only Discord, ad-free videos, and the joy of knowing they help support this channel. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and I have an unboxing for you. This is a rather special one, and it was hard for me to wait, but I did want to I did want to film a little thing here. So this is an order from Goldspot Pens. Uh, I bought this using um, some credit that I accrued uh, over some time over there. So thank you very much, Goldspot, for letting me write things for your blog and all that sort of jazz. Go and check out their blog if you haven't already. And I saw through some of this material. Yeah, this is all safe. All right, so um, using my little uh, Tactile Knife Company, Tactile Knife Co. Rock Wall, which is a gift from a friend. Very nice, right? Uh, to get in here. All right, so. All right, so this is going to be a very, very fancy Pelican offering. I have a tendency to save up things like store credit and gift cards and all that kind of jazz until I find something that I want to um, just sort of splurge on. And I have been waiting for just the right thing. And Audrey said, you know what? You really wanted one of these. And I said, you know what? That is a really, that is super true. And uh, I, I'm, I'm going to do it. So I went ahead and did that. It got delivered while I was at the Philly Pen Show, and uh, fortunately, it didn't have to sit outside because our pet minder was uh, very nice and brought it inside. So uh, here we have a booklet inside, trademark of what have you, Pelican. All right, let's. I pull this. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Like this. Okay. All right. <laughs> I haven't seen this box before. Okay, so this is from the Pelican Art Collection. You probably know what this is going to be. We have this very nice black box with uh, some gold and white writing on it. Nice little magnetic flap here. We'll open this up. And, uh, and there you have it. This right here is the Pelican Special Edition Sovereign M600 Fountain Pen in Glauco Cambal. This is... Uh, this is... This is a gorgeous pen, and I first got to see this at DC this year, where I noticed that like just photos don't do it justice. This was or is a representation of the poster that was submitted by uh, Glauco Campbell to a contest of like a poster contest for Pelican, and uh, I mean look at look at that. That's that's really pretty. Now you'll see on the pen here that there are all these same kinds of colors represented around the barrel, and these are to represent the uh, reflections that you have here in the pond of all these various pelicans. Let me set this aside for just a second and see if there's anything else in here. It said there was a booklet or something. <laughs> and so there is. All right, well, that was... That was handy. I totally could have missed that if I weren't looking for it already. We have here. Oh, this is a little piece of ephemera type thing. A little uh, uh, that same that same painting. Oh, this feels heavy too. Is there something else in here? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think this opens. No, I think this is just very very solidly constructed. All right, we'll set that aside. Here is the art collection book. What do we have in here? For us, art is passion turned into color. Oh, so this must be um, sort of a history of some of the uh, the art that uh, they've had done for Pelican and the art collections, perhaps the artist Glauco Campbell, Pelican poster design 1909. Check that out. Wow. Wow. Interesting. Fascinating detail. I have a lot of information here, actually, about this, about this, uh, this book or this pen. Yes. Unbox the magic. I'm doing that right now. You're witnessing the magic. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll stick this back in here. I will check that out later on. I am psyched that there is uh, this piece right here. Like this is kind of, you know, worth putting a little frame around or something like that. That's, that's really cool. All right. We'll stick that back in there. Let's take a look at this pen. All right, so this is the Pelican M600. I'm going to go ahead and take this little tag away from the clip here. We have 24 karat gold plated furniture on here with the cap clip and bands and all that. We have uh, black resin for the cap and also the piston knob. This is a piston filler just like the rest of the Pelican lineup. Unscrewing this, you'll see it has 
usual beautiful pelican nib there in uh, two-tone with the, the gold up here and on the pelican itself right there with its chick. Uh, 14 carat. This is a medium nib here. Medium is always a very safe size, I think, for me. It's kind of just what I sort of default to. Now, the barrel of this pen is, of course, where all the magic happens and sort of its claim to fame. This is something that they call the Aurora process, which is really interesting. And what they've done here is they have taken a brass tube and then they have guilloshed all these lines in here. And then it gets a whole bunch of different uh, coats of lacquer in there, including 10 coats of clear lacquer. And there must be some other lacquer underneath here that's giving it this light reflection because you wouldn't get that just from the clear. It's a very beautiful effect. And actually my light really wants to glare off of it, but it's sort of holographic. So you get that sort of um, lenticular hologram feel from this thing whenever you tilt it through the light. Absolutely gorgeous. One thing I'm noticing is, is that it does not have a uh, an ink window here, which is too bad. That means you can't see how much ink is in your pen, but that's okay. I will totally live because I get to have this beautiful beautiful barrel on this thing and it's uninterrupted by an ink window the piston does feel extremely smooth you can see as i rotate this here just a very smooth piston assembly in here this size wise fits right in between a bunch of the other pens so I'll go ahead and grab some of those to give you a, an idea of you know, what this looks like in the lineup okay so here we have the m600 this is a 200 so it's a little bit bigger than the 200 then there is the 800 next up in size and then of course the pelican m1000 after that you can see they just kind of get bigger as they go I don't have a 400, it's just not one that we have in our collection, but uh, the 600 is one that I didn't have. Audrey has a white one, and one thing that I found on the Pelican Perch website, which I will link to down below if you have not read the Pelican's Perch and you are interested at all in Pelican pens, you should get on that blog and do some reading. He points out that this is a, uh, a heavier version of the M600 because of the brass barrel that is in here. It goes from about uh, half an ounce up to a whole ounce, so it is uh, a market heavier pen it's like twice the weight almost and that's just due here to the barrel which has brass in it and usually it does not so a uh, very comfortable size pen here I think the nib is a nice size without being too large some folks will say that the m1000 nib is just kind of too big let's go ahead and line these up with their nibs sort of uh next to each other so we can get an idea of that all right here we have it from the 200 600 800 and 1000 size nibs and you'll notice this is not a, a much bigger nib than the m200 uh, maybe a little bit but i think they're pretty well the same uh but this one is of course a steel nib as opposed to the 14 karat gold that you get uh from the 600 but otherwise the designs for these are very much alike although you'll notice they're from different vintages and they have different like amounts of shininess and that jazz, let me see if I can tilt it just a little bit without breaking all my pens. You can see them there. The gold on the 800 is just a little bit redder. This one here is just a little bit duller on the silver bits. Uh, and this one, brand new, super shiny right out of the factory. So there you go. This is um, this is a gorgeous pen, and I'm super glad to have this in my, my lineup. I don't know what color I'm going to put in here just offhand, but it's going to have to be something cool because, man, this is a beautiful pen, and um, I can't imagine not using it. This is a, a bit of art, but also a bit of very functional art that I think I'm really going to like. So check this out at your favorite Pelican purveyor. I got this, of course, at Goldspot. Where I bought it was some credit that I've accrued over time, but uh, you can find it there as well. There are only a few of these left. I'm not sure how this special edition goes. It doesn't say it's a limited edition, so I'm not sure if there's an, a limit to the number they'll make, but I imagine it's very complicated with all these layers of lacquer and the special process and all that jazz. It does uh, have a manufacturer suggested retail price of $790 with a usual kind of street price discount at the stores of $600. 32. So this is not an inexpensive pen, uh, but boy, is it beautiful. So there you have it. All right. Thanks very much for watching. And, uh, you know, wow, I don't even I'm, I'm really kind of blown away by how pretty this is in person. The pictures it just really can't do it justice. It needs video or even better. Get your hands on one in person if you can and, or, you know, have somebody 
you know, spin it in the light for you because it is gorgeous. All right. Thanks very much for watching. I will see y'all in another video soon. Until then, peace out.